What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today I wanted to show you guys a secret area that looks exactly like Super Mario 64 in Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> You may be wondering why I'm off to the side right now, that's because I just finished my controller collection and I absolutely love it and I control the lighting with my phone. I got a full video coming soon. I love it. Shout out to Rose Colored Gaming for helping me with uh, all the controller stands and everything else. They are some fantastic people. By the way, this is going to be a fairly spoiler free thing. I'm not going to be talking about the final boss or anything else like that, even though most likely it popped up on your right hand side saying, hey, final boss, 2.4 million views. Thanks to this one guy who takes videos of stuff for pre-release games and doesn't narrate them or anything else. Anyways, here in the Mushroom Kingdom, you're going to get access to the outfit from Super Mario 64. Let's just head inside of here at Crazy Cap. If you didn't see the video about that, there's a card in the top right corner. Boop. I love the, love the polygonal look. Whoa. And guess what? I'm not the only one who likes the polygonal look. Scooter over here. Oh, the Joy-Cons vibrate so much with this. Also, I'm doing Joy-Cons today. I normally don't. I have my Pro Controller, but he's up there for right now. It's okay. Okay, right behind the castle, you're going to find a toad over here wearing a Mario hat. You know what I miss? Your blocky polygonal look. Glad to let you in anytime you're dressed like that. And you're so classic right now. You can go right on in. Love it. And as soon as we come out here, this looks exactly like the courtyard from Super Mario 64. Even the hills in the background. The sky looks just the same, everything. Ah. Oh. Wow. That is beautiful. So there's some chests here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and it's a whole bunch of dead guys. Okay, let's head on out of here and reset the room. Obviously, we need to open those chests in order. There was a uh, a similar one in um, the Wooded Kingdom. So I think it was... Which one was number one? This one with the coins around it? Yes. And then I think it was this guy. Yep. And then opposite of him... Nope. Two. Three. I think it was this one. Four. Nope. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nope. Six. Last one. And we got a star. Oh, by the way, the power moons in this in this kingdom are actually stars, and I think that's fantastic. They could have made this star be 64-bit. They could have. Like, I know it's in their power. The courtyard chest trap. And then also this thing keeps glowing, so let's just throw my hat at it. There we go. There's, there's our second one. Anytime you're in like a sub area, there's always a second star somewhere. Totally classic, bruh. The, like, even the graphics on the trees. So classic. Oh, look. Peach's castle in the original design with the original top. That's, that's great. That's so great. And then actually there's one more, one more little secret I wanted to share with you guys. And just because we're classic today, I'm actually using my Atomic Purple Switch controllers. If you come inside of here, and you walk right inside of Peach's castle and you stand right on this sundial on the floor and you look up at the star, at the sun, you get a power moon. I already got one, but yeah, you get a power moon doing that. I think that's great. <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap up this video. This was Super Mario 64 in Super Mario Odyssey in a secret 64-bit room. Guys, leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.